now we are starting the topic of uh, uh, transient analysis but before doing the transient analysis which is the uh, first part of the unit 2 let's do something about the differential equation and how it is solved using laplace transform so differential equation solution first of all the first uh, first order differential equation has one energy storing element the example of it is either rn circuit or rc circuit the example of second order circuit in which there are two energy storage elements is rlc circuit series rlc circuit let's take a an example of a second order differential equation in which we are going to solve for the value of xt the equation goes d2x by dt2 plus 7dx by dt plus 12xt is equal to 0 all of these variables are um, functions of time but we have just written at one place and we'll be taking the Laplace transform on both the sides. Laplace transform of d2x by dt2 is s square sx minus sx0 minus x dash 0. Laplace transform of 7dx by dt is And the Laplace transform of 12xt is 12xs. Combining the terms of xs together, we obtain and taking the other terms on the right hand side. So here we have sx0 plus x dash 0 plus 7x0, which becomes s plus 7x0 plus x dash 0. Normally in questions the value of x0 and x dash 0 is specified. Let us suppose in this question the value is specified as x0 2 and x dash 0 minus 4. Putting these values here and writing down the left hand side as it is. Therefore, xs is equal to twice of s plus 5 taking 2 common s plus 3 into s plus 4 we have factorized s square plus 7 is plus 12. Now we take the partial fraction. a is equal to, when you want to find out the value of a, put your finger on s plus 3 and put s is equal to minus 3. So that gives you four. And b is equal to putting hand on s plus four and putting s is equal to minus four. That is minus two. Putting these values here. Taking Laplace inverse transform on both the sides. We obtain xt as being equal to 4 e raised to the power minus 3 t u t minus 2 e raised to the power minus 4 t u t. This is your answer. 
transfer function is defined as the ratio of the Laplace transform of the output variable to the Laplace transform of the input variable with initial conditions being zero. Which is ys over xs for the normal system which we have done earlier. Input being xs, output being ys. With the help of an example, let's uh, determine the transfer function from a given differential equation. It was asked in 2013 in IP University. We take the Laplace transform of the given differential equation. Since in the given question, no initial condition has been provided, so we assume both the initial conditions y at t is equal to 0 as being 0 and y dash at t is equal to 0 being zero. So we have, now as per definition what is transfer function? Ys over xs. So let's find out Ys over xs here. So an equation in s square plus s minus 2 into Ys is equal to xs. From here, we are going to find out the transfer function which is the ratio of ys over xs. So hs is equal to ys over xs which is equal to 1 over s square plus s minus 2. This question you won't believe was of 6.5 marks. So just by leaving a small topic, you might have ended up missing the 6.5 golden marks in the examination. Now let us suppose a differential equation is given. And we want to find out what is the value of yt given again taking Laplace transform on both the sides. Substituting the values of y0 here and here, y dash 0 here. We have brought the term s y0, so s into 1, y dash 0, that is 1, and minus of 5 y0, which becomes here 5 into 1. Five. So this gives you s plus 6 plus 1 over s, which is s square plus 6s plus 1 over s. Now ys is equal to s square plus 6s plus 1 divided by s into s square plus 5s plus 6. Let's factorize s square plus 5s plus 6. This gives you s plus 3 into s plus 2. So we have three parcel fractions. Let us assume it as a over s plus b over s plus 2 plus c over s plus 3. Where the values of a, b, c are. For this we need to write down once. One more step that is s square plus 6s plus 1 over s into s plus 2 into s plus 3. Now we want to find out b, so s plus 2, you put, over, put hand over here, s is equal to minus 2, you have to put in the equation.
which gives you minus 27 plus 1 that is minus 26 over 3 so minus 26 by 3 put the values of a b and c in this ys expression 1 over 6 over s plus 15 over 2 over s plus 2 and minus 26 by 3 over s plus 3. Taking Laplace inverse on both the sides, we obtain yt as being equal to 1 over 6 plus 15 by 2 e raised to the power minus t minus 26 by 3 e raised to the power minus 3t. Sorry, here is minus 2t because s plus 2 term is here. And all of them multiplied on to ut. That is what t is equal to. t greater than 0. Such type of questions can appear in your exam in which you are required just to solve the differential equation, put the initial values and obtain the final answer of yt. This is the beauty of Laplace transform. It helps you in solving a differential equation in a very, very simple method.